Alright guys, welcome to another video. I saw Star Wars yesterday, and today is the review of the movie. I don't know if this is going to contain spoilers or not, so be warned. There is probably going to be spoilers in this, so click off the video if you haven't seen the movie yet. I do not recommend you watching this video if you haven't seen it, okay? Once you see it, come back to this video and watch it. Or go watch someone else's review. Mine is probably not going to be into depth, like, explaining all this stuff. So, if you're not already subscribed, click that red button, put them part of the Super Chill Squad. Yeah, let's talk about the Star Wars movie, shall we? The Last Jedi. Alright guys, this movie is not that bad, it's not bad at all, uh, people think it is because of the 50% audience score. To me, I think the comedy worked a little bit, uh, yeah, like Luke Skywalker <laughs> teaching Ray. He used a little bit of comedy in there, talking about uh, Ray's parents and saying where she lived. <laughs> I'm not going to say the quote because that is a spoiler, but yeah, <laughs> this comedy is like, it works sometimes, uh, then sometimes it's like weird, like Poe Dameron, he did something like he did in the first movie like talking to Kylo Ren, but instead it was to Hux, uh, General Hux. He didn't really feel right in this movie, General Hux. He felt like a different, whole different character. Man, that's, that's one thing I didn't like about this. They changed his character too much. Um, then, uh, when we get to Kylo and Rey, they force connected him. It was kind of weird at first, didn't know what was happening, but that was really cool. I think, yeah, Snoke did that. He, yeah, I'm not going to tell you about Snoke because that's a spoiler, but yeah. They can, he connected them to talk to each other. It's like, uh, you know, FaceTime or something like that, or Discord chat, I don't know. But, yeah, Snow connected him with the Force. Um, Rose and Finn area, um, really good connection, but the Canto Bite thing wasn't that bad as people said it would be, because it felt like Earth a little bit, but then it changed once we met the, uh, the uh, codebreaker guy. I don't remember his name exactly. But yeah, when they met him, the plot started to get better when they eventually met the guy in the jail cell. Uh, that's a spoiler, but go see the movie. I'm not telling you any more spoilers, hopefully. That's why I put up a spoiler warning in the beginning of the video, just in case. Um, uh, Luke, we have to talk about that guy, man, uh, really sad ending, but he might come back, I'm sorry, that is a spoiler, he became one with the force, and then we met, he met Yoda as well, Yoda came back, um, hopefully none of you guys that haven't seen the movie or are this far in the video, because I'm very sorry about that part of the Luke thing and the Yoda. But, yeah. I get to make Yoda again. Something that's weird. That. In the 1980 movie The Empire Strikes Back. That was Yoda's first appearance. This is the second part of a trilogy. Which we haven't seen Yoda. In like 30 years or something. On the uh, movie screen, of course. 
Well, we heard Yoda in the last movie, but he didn't appear. We just taught, saw his echo in that flashback scene. Yeah. So, that was really cool to see. This movie felt to me like they took The Return of the Jedi, A New Hope, and The Empire Strikes Back, and then mashed them all together. And put in The Force Awakens in there too. Mashed all four of those movies together, and you get The Last Jedi. That's how it felt to me. Like the last, I mean, the Force Awakens humor with all the other movies mashed together. That's what I felt about this movie. So, on a rating scale from 1 to 10, I give this movie a 9.5 out of 10 because I really liked it. Uh, just not the part where Yoda strikes the lightning. <laughs> kind of creeped me out a little bit. I don't know how Yoda did that, but it was pretty cool though. It was really cool, but that's why it's 9.5 and not 10. So, yeah. Thanks for watching, as always. Hope you didn't uh, stay in with the spoilers, of course. Uh, thanks for watching. As always, stay super chill, guys. And please watch this video after you've seen The Last Jedi. That's my recommendation. See you later, guys. Bye.